Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a degree audit on MyWCU. Basically, a degree audit is your roadmap to what classes you need to take in the major that you're signed up for at Western. So, the easiest way to get there is go over here to the search menu, type on it, and put in audit. It brings a performer degree audit. Just go ahead and click on that, select the current term, and then this next page just gives the information from your uh, program here. Down here at the bottom, it's really important though, um, this is the name of your primary advisor. So my advisor is Needham Gully, and if you click on that, it'll bring me up and I can email him actually. I'm not going to do that now, but that's really good to know um, in case you don't know who your advisor is. And all you need to do is click on Generate New Evaluation. And then here it's going to say which, basically which program you need to select on. Um, if you're a double major, it'll have two programs. If you're a triple major, it'll have three. You can only do one program at a time in a degree audit, so I'm just going to click on that. Just keep that term, whatever generic one it says, and say generate request. And what I've done since I'm a master's student is I've pulled up an actual other degree um, here. So I'm going to be looking at a communication degree with a concentration and a minor, so you can see all those different sections. So here is all of the information for the program that we're enrolled in. And then if you scroll down, it says the hours required and the GPA that's required. So some majors have a special GPA that's required specifically for their major. Um, some majors are higher, some majors are lower. Um, the minimum for any major at Western is two. Some may have a 2.5, some may even have a 2.7. So it's really important that you know exactly what your major requires. Keep scrolling down and then you'll see this section. This is the major section. So my major right here in this degree audit is communication. Um, I have not taken any communication classes. And so it says right here, have I met that? No. So if I were to meet these requirements, it would say yes. And then it lists very plainly um, all the classes that you need to take. COM 240, COM 296 for communications. And then it says elective requirements like two from the following courses. So it says very plainly exactly what you need to take. And if you keep scrolling down, here's the concentration, the broadcasting concentration. As you can see, I've not taken any of these classes either. So like two of the following, select so like three hours of communication department electives. And those are all listed on the department's website. Um, so you may have to work with them, you know, in pairs. And so I haven't met anything here. So that's a concentration. Some majors have concentrations, some majors don't. So again, you gotta know if your major is one of those that require concentration. Um, if you want a concentration, some majors can have them, some majors don't need them. So it's really good just to know exactly what your major is. For a comm, you're required to have a concentration. So we keep scrolling down. And here, here we see a minor. Most minors are pretty open, just like this. It says 21 hours of chem courses. Um, some have specific classes that you need to take. Again, it says exactly what it is down here in the notes section. You must have 21 total hours and five must be at the 300, 400 level. So, and it says which ones do not count towards a minor. So it, it's pretty simple. It says exactly what you need to do. You need to get 21 hours. Um, and again, some minors differ. Some are 20, some are less, some are more. Um, and then you keep moving down. Liberal studies, every student at Western is going to have liberal studies. If you're undeclared, this is the only thing that's going to show up on your um, degree audit. If you have declared a major, you'll see all those things above it. Um, but here are the liberal studies. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of yeses here because I've already completed an undergraduate degree at Western, so I've completed all of my liberal studies. And then it says the requirement right here, how many hours you need for the requirement. And then over here it says the actual classes that I've taken. So I've taken all these classes right here and it says what grade I got in them, how many credits I got for them, and what where they came from. So the special thing about calculus is that I actually transferred it in from AP credit from high school. Um, if you've taken AP credits or if you've taken community college classes or classes at another university, they'll show up in your degree audit as T. If they do not show up, it'd probably be best to talk to an advisor to make sure that the credits you thought were going to show up actually do. We want to make sure that you get everything you need. And so as you see, we have all of our grades right here. And if you scroll down, then you'll see your upper level perspective. And yes, I've met the upper level perspective. Every student is required to take a liberal study that is in the 300 or 400. So as you can see, this is a 300 music level class. 
and then we scroll down and we have general electives and electives are basically classes that um, get you up to your requirement so some class some majors require electives some don't um, and if you regardless if you require um, electives or not every class that you take that does not fit in your major is going to end up down here and so as you can see I've already completed a major so all of these classes I've taken are all sitting right down here um, if you have not taken a whole lot of classes or if you've not taken any classes outside of your major um, then you may not have classes down here and that's fine um, basically that's how you pull your degree audit again you can see it's really really helpful um, and it can really 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 help you uh, plan for the future for your degree